Hi guys and welcome to this video, this is the next episode of Trading Gods and as you can see I'm back around up to, uh, back up to 250k because of, I decided to sell all my items for a new SBC, let's just find it, um, for the Euro sign, let's just go live so for the Euro sign, as you can see you would see players, quite a few of them have gone up well, quite a few haven't, and actually went down in price, which is annoying. And for instance, I decided to invest in the URSA for about 20k, he went back down to 10, so I did make a 10k loss on that. I still made profit overall, which is good. Uh, on here, you need shower players, I, s I need to sell them on, but I don't think they went up that much because they were low rated. New Bundesliga players, so if you've got rest in high rated Bundesliga players, they would have gone up as well. You need if you've got any of discarded team week cards, that's pretty good investment because you needed two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight team week players in just one SBC. So all discarded forms that you got for under ten k, you need to sell to about eleven or over, which is very, which is quite nice. So I sold all my German informs, all my English informs. The English ones went up to about fifteen thousand, like with Cook and Dowell. One from the championship went for about 17. So, you sell, if you have any of them in your club, do it, sell them on now. Um, a good thing about the German players, um, anything that has a different league, so like one person to, to know is how it is, um, which, which I had on my club already, but I decided to sell them quickly as soon as I got home. So on the market, he's going for about 5,000 coins. He was 2,000 coins about about ye yes yesterday, which is, you know, quite mad, the different price range. So any high-rate people that are German that is not from the Bundesliga would have gone up a hell of a lot of coins because you need, you need different leagues for German players. So any people that are German... That's from a different league would have gone up astonishing. Quite a few people at high rate Germans have gone up that are in Germany, but if you have someone that's in a different league, you would have made tons and tons of coins. And this one, I don't really know what this is. It's just Teen Week players. I'm not too sure it's. Oh, Teen Week players that fit the chemistry of these uh, three. So if you have any of those players, I do recommend selling them on. Right, in this video, I'll be doing some more investments. As you can see already, I have done a, a couple of league investments for the next league investments, which we come in December. So we pr we said we would there be league in investments. I've invested in three. Look how look how much coins I've been making here. If these all go up, it, it's just absolutely mental. League in, I invest in about twelve pages of league in. I've invested in Calcio players a lot here, not as much as Ligon, but as much to make me a ton of profit. And we've also invested in the Pro Leagues. Find it now. Two, three, four, five pages of Pro League players. But what we're going to do now is we're going to invest in another couple, different couple of leagues. Um, we're going on to the, the trance market and just some picking up um, th those players from different leagues that could definitely go up. So we'll see the next ones I think will be coming out. It's going to be BVA and the Bundesliga. And we'll start the um, BVA because they're going to be the most profitable. So you want to find the clubs which don't have many goals. So they've got CD Legers. And you just want to find. You literally want to find their, the positions where they don't have many uh, players in. So these two, you want to buy both of them, really, because they're not going to... Like, this league, don't this club, really, don't have, obviously, not many goals. So this Zagdula guy, or whatever his name is, would be a perfect investment. And this Tito. Because, yep, there's two right-backs in the same spot, but both of them will go up, like, t so many, many coins. And you want to do just find if they have the goal player, don't bother. But for instance, on the centre back, they do. You want to go to let if that glitch you just I'm really sorry, but I don't know what happened there. You could invest in that left back guy, but I wouldn't really 
recommend it because there's a gold one. And a gold one will just kind of, you know, affect the price. The right mid has a gold one, center mid. And look, this we are very pro profitable. But all the teams, right, just don't have many gold cards. And if there's a team that has loads of gold cards but like one position don't, he will be really very expensive as well. So as you can see, buying these two centre mid cards and City Adler leg loads because they could buy. So what I'm going to do is, all you need to do for the next bit is find, let's go, say left back, and constantly go to every different league. So there's two of it, and I reckon these two will go up massively. So I'm going to go for... I get this hex of fire on the coins and get this Drew Chico for 650. Left backs, right backs, any in the midfield, centre centre halves will all go up a lot. And if it's a really, really bad team, the money could be making is unbelievable just because that that team doesn't have many goals in that position. So as you can see, this, this right back would be so good to invest in. I would use my my entire trade pile but obviously I have other investments to make and all that but you can if you someone did invest in all these cards his price when this SPC come out could be 10k 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 there's 110k worth, worth of player if when the SPC does come out and it will be when not if because I only saw one goal, this centre back, the, the guy, these centre back cards for Legos, or Alvarez even, sorry, what would be a lot of money as well. Like, just do what I'm doing, buy, buy in this different position, different positions in the bad clubs, and as well, so what the first thing you need to do is go buy every single position, left back, centre back, and whatever, in different clubs. The next thing you want to do is go Silver League of VA and literally find the cheapest buy now you can find for these players. If it's 200 coins, you can go and buy these two for 200 coins. Most of the time you're going to find goalkeepers or people from like the top clubs and they, they won't go up as much. But they once this PC comes out, they will have a set price, a set buy now price. And that's when you kind of want to sell all these kind of cards on. So 250 coins, I'm not paying much at all, and I'm just going to buy all these cards for 250 coins. And when this PC comes out, th their, their minimum price is going to be at least 800 to 900 coins, which is which is just nuts. So that's what you want to do as well. Obviously, the other league you're going to be doing with this is Bundesliga. So we'll go to like a team called Oskleg. You want to find what what um, non-silver cards they have in their position, so we'll go right back, is that silver, it is, it's silver and bronze, so you want to find the cheapest buy now for the Oskaleg right back, or Uggsboro Ux right back, can't really pronounce properly, don't want, I don't really want to go to the bronze card, so the cheapest silver card is around 800 coins, 750 there, part. Like probably that's got a really decent card, you know, for a silver, same as club, and when that SPC comes out, you're going to get a lot of coins. Check the centre back from Uskaleg, if there's only one gold, there's two, is that two? Yeah, it is. I'm going to go for a silver as well, because they may want to play in a different position, which will make their prices go a lot higher. So, that's all you need to do. To go for any, any go through all the positions in in the league, like centre back, whatever. So they have a couple of different cards here you can invest in. Let's go for that 200 coin card. It's literally just being popped up. So 200 coins for that guy, very cheap. And you just want to flick through all the different positions, through through all the different clubs. Wait, did I have a have a bronze win? Did, did that could be a wicked investment? That could really be a wicked investment. Don't get me wrong, I have a gold at there and a silver. But if you want him at like left mid or whatever, four hundred coins for that card, he could he could easily go to about one or two k. So I, I will I will I will take a punt on him and tell him. But most of the time you want you want to keep the silver cards. I don't know why I just tagged him. But okay. So 
this do what I do, go for all the position positions, I think got some the CDM, 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 like this guy would be a wicked investment, so definitely put, buy that guy I would in a minute. But, and as well, different positions, different clubs, then to go for the moon price of all Bundesliga silver cards, so, turn the coins, like I did with the BBA cards, most time you obviously will find goalkeepers, because they're always the cheap cards but you just want to have all of them in your club because they will have a set price once these SVCs come out which will be very, a lot higher than what you paid don't want to get him because I've already got one of them just get all the different types of cards as much as possible that you can store in your club like more more the better as you can see a lot of them are getting out bid because They've only just been the start up for a will, I imagine all my I supply ask them. And they and you just want to send send them all to club and just keep them there. So anyway, that's what you need to do. Go for all different leagues like the the top three leagues, Bundesliga, I don't know why it's come up. Bundesliga, B I've already done Le League and Calcier, Bundesliga and BVA, and even the Pro League because that'll be coming out soon as well. And you want to find all the you want to go for all the different um clubs all the different positions and literally just invest and also you do the chief spine out because you uh, for investments as well so that'd be all please your hands here and please invest in these different leagues because they could go up as well even you can invest in the bpl you know but i hope you like this video please your hands here and make those bloody coins and as we said bye